Google My Business is always releasing new features. Now, sometimes it's difficult to just keep up with all these new releases, but your business needs to be ahead of your competitors. So if you've subscribed to this video or to this video channel, then you're getting information that your competitors aren't even aware of. So I'm going to go through these seven tips now with you on Google My Business. And if you implement them or just to be aware of them, you're going to gain traction over your competitor. So welcome to this video. So I'm Zane from Zanet Design and I help businesses like yours grow on the internet. I've used SEO techniques in the past and found that it just didn't work. Or I found other techniques make so many promises, but actually when it comes to my business, it didn't really deliver. So the process of this is really just to work with you to see how you can grow your business and how you can apply particular techniques and tips and tricks within Google My Business, but to do it the honest way so that you're in it for the long term and not a short term gain. So let's look at these seven tips now. These SEO tips are going to help you to improve your Google My Business listing. Some you may be aware of, many have just been released and you won't be aware of. And by the end of this video, you've obviously then gained something that the majority of your competitors haven't. Then it's just up to you to make those changes. So let's dive straight in and see what these seven new features for Google My Business are. First new feature on Google My Business we're going to cover is just the fact that there's now this new way of updating or claiming a business. Now this came through Twitter today. I just noticed that uh, there's like a pop-up on Google Maps. I just thought I'd see if I could uh, check that out myself. So there's a few ways to do this. Um, if you go to a map, so here I've noticed a business here, Rock Bottom Bikes. If I click on that, then it appears that no one's claimed this business. If I click on claim this business, it then brings up the box. And the idea of this is Google's making it much easier now for people that haven't claimed their business to either claim it or to ask someone to manage it for them. So in this case, it's uh, obviously knows who I am, knows that I can manage businesses and it gives me the opportunity to manage it on their behalf or to say that I own and manage another business. So that's one way it could be done. The other way is, of course, if you just go from within a search, if you search your company in Google, and then again, when it comes up, which in this case it has, if this is your business, then you can suggest there either an edit for someone else, or you can own this business, click that. And once again, you get this box comes up. So it's a much more user-friendly way of now filling it out and managing your own business. Um, it looks even better, this pop-up box, but that doesn't appear to be working here in the UK, but that may well be just rolling out as we speak. So that's the first thing. So the second thing is to just uh, the fact you can edit your business. If I type in um, a business where I've done a rating, so I'm on Spark's virtual assistants and I put in a rating the other day, but now you have this ability to go back and you can edit. So if you've given a review for someone and you want to then update it or you want to add some keywords for them because they've asked you to, or just something about the edit, you perhaps want to add a photo because you've got a photo now to add, then you can go into your edit and you can immediately then post the edits as well. So it's just another second thing that Google's released in the last few weeks. So the third new fe feature that's come out on Google My Business is just the fact you can get to your business a lot quicker by just typing in my business. Type that into Google. And what it will do, it will then bring up your business and any business that you're associated with. So in this case, it brings up my business here, but it also brings up other associated businesses. And then I can click on these or view the profile or go into my business itself. So that's really useful if you wanted to just update your business. Another way to do that is you can just type your business name in. And this obviously gives you a lot more details, a lot more information as well. Now this is a real big advancement because you've now got these new icons here, a lot smaller than before, and you can edit your profile. And this does the pop-up. So we saw this is certainly the way things are going. You can change your hours, you can add photos. So you can do these things all within, really, from within Google search engine or search um, results page. So this is a much more user-friendly user way, user -friendly way of getting to important information. You can promote yourself by adding photos. This is almost really making the knowledge panel, the back end, redundant. And this enables you to even get reviews and questions. It's much more user friendly. So this will be probably the way that most people go now. Just type in your name into Google and then you've got this access here. So really useful tip number four. 
And tip number five is all about keeping your hours updated. So you notice here in my hours, it just gives them and it shows that they're they're fine, that there might be a differ here, hours might differ. Now, if you get this, an amber, then that's something you need to respond to. You notice here it's come up as my number one thing up here. Are you open on this summer bank holiday? Now, in the UK, there's a summer bank holiday this coming Monday. So I need to respond to that, yes or no. Now, you might think, well, so what? But this is a signal to Google that I'm still updating all the relevant information for my business. So if there's 100 businesses and 50 never update this type of information, never keep their hours updated, then Google's going to start ranking the other 50 that do do it a lot higher. So it's important to just let Google know you're alive and kicking and the business is still going. So click, if you're open, yes, which I am, then I'll click yes, and then I can fill in my special hours. So it's nine to five, and then I'll click send. You get success, your edit is live as well. So that just tells you that's all good. So it's worth just saying, it's worth going through these things. Just check that you've updated all these. These are all giving signals to Google. Get more reviews, it's how to share the review form, add more photos. Just do all you can and you'll find this does help. Google does rank it higher if you can get these things up and running and uh, following what they're suggesting as well. So that's uh, another tip to consider. Now, the next one I'm going to look at is just regarding your listing. So if you have a listing like this, you'll just notice that if you go to um, Google, My, um, Google Maps, just something here to point out that when you go to Google Maps, you'll notice that there's this thing here called a plus code. Now you may wonder what's a plus code. Now when you think of some um, businesses are very hard to find using a postcode or a zip code, and you may find that you then still don't get the person directly to the doorstep. But the nice thing with this plus code is you can just copy it and you can send it then to a person in an email or on WhatsApp or Facebook or wherever and it will immediately take them to the exact area. So no longer do you have problems with postcodes or zip codes that are a bit vague or maybe a one side of the river and not the other side. This works to the exact identity. If you're in the area of, say in my case, of Bournemouth, and a person can just put in the first part. But if you need to know the town as well, because it's a worldwide search, then that as well. Now, why would you use that? Well, if someone said that they wanted to come and visit you or they wanted to come to your office or they wanted to come to your shop, if you send them that code in an email, all they need to do then is copy that in. So if I copy this, if I went to Google Maps, So in Google Maps, if I just type in or paste in that code, it takes them straight to the area there. So that's something to consider. You might want to just bear in mind that that is going to also give a signal to Google. Now, whether or not that's a ranking signal, I don't know. But certainly that just tells Google someone's been looking for your business. So that's a good way of perhaps sharing that, getting people to be aware of where your business is based. And finally, my last uh, one to share with you from Google My Business, a new feature that came out just a, a few months back now, but one that's probably not been used enough, and it's the Share Your Business Profile. So if you go on Share Your Business Profile, this is really helpful because it, it gives you a short code to wherever your profile is. So I'm just gonna copy, click to copy, there you go, link is copied. And I can share that in an email, and that will give another signal that someone's trying to find me. In your insights, it will show that someone's come to see where you're based. But also you can really share this in an easy way. For example, if I just want to put it on Twitter, and there we go, it then says, check out where I'm at, and I can send that out to anyone. Same with Facebook and so on. And that link will then enable them to go through. So if they go through to that link, it will then give a signal to Google. And this is all part of helping the rankings improve. So you, rather, if someone says to you, where is your office? Don't just tell them or don't send them an address, send them this link because this is going to help you then get more traffic and more ranking because Google says there are people looking for you. So it's a positive signal to give and a top tip. So there you go. There's seven, I think I've covered about seven new features there that have been released in the last few weeks, months, or even the last few days. And they're going to help you to continue to improve on your business in 2020.
Now, if you want to really make progress, you do need to look at other ways to gain traction. And here's a couple of videos I released recently that have certainly helped other customers and will no doubt help you. I'll see you there.